welcome to my channel today we are going to look at how do you apply autofill on microsoft excel so autofill is basically when you are going to automatically fill the other cells with the formula that comes from the cell that you're working in even if it's not a formula maybe you want to auto generate the text that comes after the text that you have for instance here we have January if I click in January this icon here at the bottom right corner that is an autofill button you can see it there so if I click on it my mouse will change just by putting the mouse on top of it my mouse pointer will change to be a bold plus sign when I click hold and drag to the right it will auto generate which is autofill now autofill now will recognize that this is a month so the next month after January it will be February like this March April just like that so coming to the days as well if I autofill Monday it will generate the next day and give me the days that follow as you see so if you are going to autofill something that is not recognized which is not part of date time or month or day it will not autofill it for instance if i just type the word john and then try to autofill john it won't automatically generate but it will actually repeat john throughout so this is not recognized as one of the belt in weights on excel that's why it's repeating itself what about numbers if i have number one here and i autofill one going down it will repeat one throughout so what if i want it to count for me i will put two here highlight the two numbers one and two when they are both highlighted when i go to the autofill icon and drag down it will know that it has to count according to the pattern which I already have one two then it will continue three four until seven the other method of auto generating these numbers is by introducing a formula whereby you can say equals to you click the number that is actually going to be counting by then you are going to add one to the previous number so I say equals to I click the number before I add one so it will give me two so if I autofill two only without highlighting one above, it will auto count for me, which is autofill, and then it will put the numbers according to the counting order. So normally when you have we are done, when you are done with autofill and you have actually done the spreadsheet and now you want to calculate, sometimes autofill will give you um, errors if probably you didn't use what we we call auto autofill and absolute cell referencing for instance if i'm going to calculate basic calculations i want 10% of 380 here 10% is there now i have to click it when i calculate so it means here where i'm calculating 10% i will say equals to when i click that 10% multiplied by 380 obviously the answer will be 38 but when I auto fill now you see here we have a problem this value is showing that it cannot see 10 percent or it cannot relate to the percentage amount that is going to be found for these two numbers so that is when now we have to use absolute cell referencing this is how you do it equals to when you click that 10 percent which is out of your range of numbers that you are finding 10 percent of you have to press f4 on the keyboard when you press f4 the a1 will change to have dollar signs multiplied by 380 the answer will come so when you autofill you won't find any errors anymore no errors anymore so you only use f4 to the value to give to the value that you click 
the value that is outside your spreadsheet outside the range where you are calculating the numbers so these numbers here we had to find 10 percent but 10 percent is not within these numbers so that is why when we click that 10 percent we press f4 on the keyboard like it is indicated here so when you press f4 then it knows that it will have to reference that 10 percent throughout all these when you autofill so normally that is the trick when you use autofill and you get errors is because um, some values cannot see one of the numbers because they don't appear within the range of your spreadsheet so probably now you understand how autofill works if it's not a number if it's text it must be days and months but if it's going to be a number it's either you are actually autofilling because of the formula or you are actually calculating the numbers and you want them to count like we had them here as you saw me doing it earlier thank you for watching Thank you.